The greatest wealth is our own health. Good evening and welcome dear friends. This is Minakshi Sharma back again with yet another new episode of BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World Nothing But Lifestyle. In this talk show we have highly qualified and expert doctors from different medical backgrounds to share their valuable knowledge and details on various health topics so that our viewers can get maximum benefit out of it because your good health is our primary concern dear viewers hypertension is one of the most widespread disease in many countries it is the most modifiable risk factor for coronary heart disease it causes stroke uh, then uh, it causes heart failure and end stage renal disease it is found mostly in diabetic and hyperlipidemia patients high blood pressure is a silent killer and it can strike without any warning so dear viewers to throw more light on today's topic of discussion that is chronic disease and hypertension we have with us in our studio dr bushra al sharaf from al hilal hospital Salmabad branch She is having 22 years of experience as a family medicine consultant and also she is having 4 years of experience as a medical director out of which 2 years with Al Hilal Hospital Salmabad branch So let's welcome her Good evening Dr Bushra how are you and welcome to our show Good evening and thank you very much for this interview I'm very glad to speak about one of the chronic diseases and a very important topic which is a hypertension. Yes. Uh so doctor to begin with uh as we know that uh, hypertension is a very serious disease as uh, just now I mentioned. So uh, to begin with we would like to know what exactly is hypertension and what is the prevalence of hypertension in general population. Actually hypertension it is classified according to the reading of the systolic and diastolic blood pressures when the systolic blood pressure is 140 and diastolic blood pressure is more than 90% so it is considered as a diagnosis for the hypertension and in the more we will speak about the grading according to the reading it is one of chronic diseases which affecting the person and it will be a lifelong persisting diseases that can cause a complications in all organs that's why it is one of the most priorities of the all health centers how to give a big health promotions to avoid of having a uh, hypertension cases the prevalence of hypertensions it is a quite high as in bahrain the national non communicable diseases that bahrain have about 16.3% of the populations with a hypertension and in general populations they have about 30 to 45% of a hypertension and there is also a lot of studies have been comparing according to the lifestyle of the patients they can have a hypertension more like in india they have a very good study to be comparing about the patients who are living in a rural and urban area and there was a really significant differences in a patients who are having a high blood pressures between these two area and a patients who are also persons who have a very high income like in canada australia and the uk they have a low percent of having a hypertension cases but in other countries which they are having a low income with a diet in high in salt and fats like in dominica or in iraq they have about 48% of the populations they can have hypertensive cases okay okay so what are the guidelines for measurement of blood pressure actually measuring a blood pressures is a very important because it is the beginning of diagnosis of the blood pressures 
So we begin with the posture of the patient. Even if the patient is at home, he wants to be measuring his blood pressure. So at the hospital, it should be in a two sitting, supine and sitting, and the patient should be sitting comfortably, and the head should be supported, as well as the arm should be at the level of the heart levels. The cuff of the blood pressure measurement is very important, that it should be covered at least about 80% of the arms, and it should not be too tight or too lose because it can give a wrong reading and a wrong diagnosis okay okay that is very important to and know. one of the importance is also the patients before measuring his blood pressure they should stop at least 30 minutes of smoking alcohol and exercise as well okay okay that is very uh, like uh, good information that you have uh, shared uh, about the blood yes, pressure. Yes, especially for the patients who are before they are diagnostic as a hypertension cases and they are following up their blood pressure at home. It's very important, especially to checking the machine, even the batteries, it can affect all the readings of their blood pressures. Yes. So, what is the grading and diagnosis of hypertension? We have three grades for diagnosis of blood pressures. We have grade one, and it is according to the reading of a blood pressure. It is when the systolic blood pressure is between 140 and 149, and diastolic blood pressures is between 90 and 99. And with these readings, it should be diagnostic within one month and starting of the medications. The second grade, which is a grade two, that the systolic blood pressure, it is between 160 to 179, and diastolic blood pressure is between 100 and 109, and it should be diagnostic within two weeks. And the grade three, when the systolic blood pressure is more than 180, and diastolic blood pressure is more than 110 and diagnosis should be only within one week okay okay so what are the risk factors of hypertension and what are its causes risk factors they are a very long list especially nowadays with our lifestyle has been changed we will start with the obesity and overweights with food fast foods high in salt high in fats as well as lack of exercise, being inactive with sedentary life. Smoking alcohol is again a strong risk factor to have a hypertension and with a positive family history. Okay, okay. So uh, one has to be very careful regarding their blood pressure and they should uh, regularly uh, keep a check on that. Uh, Especially if they have a risk factors, yes because hypertension called the silent killer and it is one of the common causes of coronary heart diseases, heart failure and a sudden death. So we should keep an eye on blood pressure. Yes, because uh, uh, are there any symptoms of uh, uh, hypertension? That Not one all know? of the cases they can have symptoms. Somebody can walk to the clinics and they have a very high blood pressures without any symptoms and they'd be shocked that when their blood pressure is so high and it is exceeding 200, like over 120. But some of the patients, they can be developing of symptoms like headache, dizziness, vomiting, a lot of symptoms can be, but it can be also silent. So we have to be take care about these things. Okay, that's very important, which uh, the inf information that you, are, you have shared. So that one has to be very careful because as you said, it's a silent killer. So you have to keep a regular checkup on your blood pressure. As well, my advice for patients who are having diabetes mellitus and hyperlipidemia, they have to follow their blood pressures regularly because there is a very high risk for the patients who are having diabetic and hyperlipidemia to develop a high blood pressure. Okay, okay. Thank you, doctor. And dear viewers, uh, it's time for a very short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
Dear viewers, welcome once again and we have in our studio Dr. Bushra who is sharing some very important information on chronic diseases and hypertension. So Dr. Bushra now moving ahead, uh, we would like to know uh, how can a person uh, avoid to have high blood pressure? Again we have to look to the risk factors, avoid fats and salts on diet. Look for a healthy diet, increase your vegetables, take more fluids, do exercise at least five days a week. If you cannot, it can be every other day, at least for 20 to 30 minutes. Control your weight. If you are overweight or obese, try your best to decrease your weight. Control your stress. Stop smoking and alcohol. Okay. So one should avoid all these things yes. and uh, uh, follow a like, healthy lifestyle. Yes, you have to modify your lifestyle to control, to prevent to have a high blood pressures. Yes, but uh, sometimes uh, the person cannot handle stress and tension and all those things. So uh, what do you advise, uh, like uh, how can they overcome all these things? Now we have a lot of relaxation therapies to have a yoga, a positive thinking is a very important to be socialized. There is no excuse that we are having attention and stress because everybody is having attention. So we have to look to ourselves that our health is very important. Absolutely. Well said. Health is very important. Yes. So uh, how uh, we can treat hypertension? First lifestyle modification before any medications again we are stressing on having a good healthy diet exercise stop smoking stop alcohol try to control your stress and be happy then we are coming to the medications which I will not go in deep to speak about them but they are four groups the first groups it is called diuretics how it will work that the kidney will take the extra salt and fluid from our body to be excreted from our body as a urine. But it have also a side effects when it is starting, like headache, dizziness, as well as increasing the uric acid. The second group, it is called the beta blockers. How it does it work? It will release the stress hormones, which is the decreasing and controlling the blood pressures but still they have a side effects again it can have headache dizziness as well as slowing the heart rates and dry mouth with dry eyes the third groups it is called the calcium channel blockers which they are blocking the entrance of the calcium to the heart and arteries so it will keep the artery open and relax and not resistance the blood pressure controlling the blood pressure. Again, it have a very important side effects which can cause a swelling of the lower limb as well palpitation. And the final groups, the fourth groups, it is called the renin and gotensin system inhibitors. Okay. So, uh, doctor, we would like to know, is there any relation uh, between hypertension and obesity? Yes, there is a strong relations between obesity and overweight and developing of an obesity related hypertensions, which is if there is obesity, there is increase about 65 to 78 percent to have a hypertension. So controlling weight is very important to be preventing to have a future increasing of hyper blood pressure. Okay, okay. So, uh one has to be very careful uh, regarding their like eating habits also. Yes, because like, obesity again it is related to the diets. Absolutely. Healthy diets, controlling weight and exercise. This is the three very main components which all the health centers and organizations they are working in to be controlling all the chronic diseases, not only the hypertension. Okay, okay. So now, uh, before we conclude our uh, today's episode, what advice or takeaway you would like to share with our viewers so that it can be uh, a great help to them? Prevention is better than cure. So be happy, 
smile so you can control your stress, think positively, lose weight, exercise, quit smoking and alcohol. You will be happy and healthy forever. I'm sure our viewers will definitely follow uh, what advice you have shared with them. And thank you, Dr. Bushra, for coming to our show and sharing such important details about chronic disease and hypertension. Really, we are really thankful to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear viewers, it's never too late to take control of your blood pressure and improve your overall health. With this note, this is Minakshi Sharma signing off for this evening. Until we meet next week, same day, same time. Take very good care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Good night.